What's up guys? I'm J-Dub and today we are back out here and we're fishing a new spot. I've never actually fished here. Grew up down here and I've never actually fished this area. This is a cool looking little place. I'm going to show it to y'all guys real quick, man. It's awesome. Dude, look at this place. Man, this is cool. They're fishing from the pier. I'm going to show y'all guys something. Look at all these little fiddler crabs. Man, if I had a net, we'd catch some of these guys. These are awesome. And right there. Look at these little guys, man, they're everywhere. These dudes are awesome fishing bait. Y'all see, this is nice marshland. There's a, I'm guessing those are crabbers. I don't know, assuming they're crabbers, I'm not real sure. We might even try to do some crabbing out here today. Show y'all guys how to catch blue crabs. Man, this is awesome though. Super windy out here. I'm not gonna disclose what the, the name of this location just cause I wanna ruin for any of the local guys, but Hopefully there's some fish out here. Man, we're super bright again. Yeah, but hopefully we'll be able to get out here, catch some fish. I'll take y'all guys with me. All right, guys, we're on the water and we are in the channel. Right now we're in about 10 foot of water. All right, guys, we're gonna hit up this little channel right here and we're gonna see what we can get hooked up with. Y'all stay tuned. Check out that really cool old abandoned house. Man, that's awesome looking. There's a big flat, big shoal right here we just fished. Oh. Any of y'all guys want to see how you tear a boat up? Right there. That's nothing but an oyster bed. But here's the open water. We're going to come up here. So a few channel markers, a few signs. We're going to check those out real quick. 1.1 foot of water, y'all. All right, guys. So y'all remember them oyster beds I was telling y'all about a minute ago? Get that straight. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I found one. There he is. Right here. And uh, we're sitting on him. So... So guys, we're gonna have to aren't you focus on me. So we're gonna have to come up here and see if we can, I got the troll motor off. The second one. This is the, the second oyster bed we've been stuck on. The first one I just barely run just barely hit it. Took the troll motor and it walked right off of it. This one, oh we're free. We're good now. This is where your troll motor comes in handy. The problem is we're trying to go into the wind. I can't put the motor deep down. But yeah, over there, that was the oyster bed. So, man. And I run the ground trying to get a picture. It's an old abandoned house. It's super cool. But, all right, our camera battery's getting low. I'm finally in deep enough water we can run the troll motor. I've got to get back into this cove. There's an oyster bed here. There's one right out there. And there's one over there. But there's a channel going right in between them. All right, guys, you can see we're right here at the boat ramp. <laughs> and that's where we're, we're crabbing. Now, what I see a lot of people doing on YouTube that I just, I don't agree with, ooh, I almost lost my fishing rod, is they don't use nets to catch their crabs. And I don't, I don't understand how they do it. But your secret is you're just gonna sit here and slowly pull this thing back. We're bringing this thing across the bottom. Any crab that's in the area should get up on there. And the current's ripping through this little channel. I'm even pulling this a little faster than I'd like. Don't see any crabs yet. Not yet. I might need to put a little weight on here. All right, we'll come up here. Put you a little bit of a half, half hitch. Just to keep that lead away from that chicken. I don't know why. I've just always been told that since I was a kid. So that's how I do it. There we go. Oh yeah, that sunk him down quicker. Like I said again, I always tie your line back to the front of your boat or whatever you're fishing off of. Pier. I'll let y'all know when we pull them in again. All right, guys, prime example of why you tie your, your line off. While I wasn't paying attention, the wind has caught that rope and pulled it right into the water. So if it wasn't for that being tied up, we wouldn't have our line anymore. I feel that weight dragging. So let's see if we can pull out of here. And right there we go. Alright guys, 
So we had one crab on here a minute ago and he got out of my net. So we're gonna try this again. Like I said last time, just slowly pull it up. And he didn't tore his chicken all to pieces. Yep, there he is. There's one. Nice big Jimmy, old rusty Jimmy. Now, show y'all how to grab them. Grab them back here on their back flipper. But there you go. There's your a male blue crab. You tell he's a male. By his little, by this isn't an ape, isn't a circle. He's rusty too, so he's getting ready to. He should be full of meat. Let's get a quick measurement. We are four and three eighths. So he's not a legal crab yet. I'm gonna double check real fast, but I'll let y'all know for sure. All right, guys. So he wasn't a legal crab, so we put him back. And there might be some right here, just around this dock. It normally is. Let's see if we can grab another one real quick. There's one. Oh, two. Had two on there. There you go. Two nice males, or two nice crabs. See, they can get out of this net, so I'm not a real big fan of this one. Let's get them down here in the boat. We'll measure them up. Come back out here. We can check you. Oh, quit. You're not going to hurt nobody. We got another male. You can see they're aggressive. From there to there. Four and a half. We're catching a lot of four and a halves. All right, let's go ahead and pull this up. And try to catch another one. I guarantee they're on here. Cause they are tearing this chicken up right now, but they're not big. Surprised we didn't have one on there. But after talking to that guy, he told me where the channel was and how to read the channel. So right now we're trying to follow that. Then hard turn. Back in 10 foot of water. Take off again. We're gonna anchor up right in here. See if we can catch some crabs. Probably not. Might just be able to hold up right here. Sweet. That'll work perfect. Oops. Whoa. The line got tangled. How deep this is. I haven't seen any sign of blue crab in here, but we're gonna try it real quick. So we got a little gotcha plug on here now. We're just gonna rip through here. Cause I know there's fish in here, so we're gonna try to catch one. Or something. I know there's grass. There it was. This grass. And see all these little holes? Put it down here. If y'all see all these holes, these are little fiddler crabs. And there's a blue crab right there. See how I told y'all, man? They're everywhere. He's right there. There he is. See him? Little tiny one. Yep. They're everywhere. Let's check our line real quick and see if we got another one. All right, let's get our net. Well, we got one. That's probably not a keeper. You can see, yeah, he's not a keeper. The crabs in here are thick. Another Jimmy. Normally you can stick your claw in there. Yeah, you're not gonna be a keeper, but another pretty blue crab. 
We'll check you, but I'm almost 100% sure you're not. All right, four and a half. A lot of four and a half ones in here. This spot that we're fishing is fished by commercial fishermen though. Let's check it, because they were putting a hurting on my chicken. So they might be in here already. Had a lot higher hopes. These little gotcha plugs normally work really well down here, especially when they're new like this. But you can see, it's kind of a rocky bottom. I done beat the snot out of that thing on the bottom. And those don't work worth a darn for fresh water, in case y'all were wondering. Never caught anything. There's a small one. Well, he might be. Pin you down. Let go of that. see guys what y'all think think he's small <laughs> four and five eighths that's a pretty one though look how pretty these, that blue is look how pretty his blue on his claws are man nice right, so once again another male haven't had a female yet but real pretty male guys don't ever stick your fingers this close to him unless you've got him because he can bite the fire out of you and it will draw blood but man that's a pretty one there but he is go ahead and i'm gonna show y'all guys kind of how they walk that's where that crab walk comes from there he goes <laughs> all right guys well i did a whole video showing y'all about five more crab catches and just to realize that the camera was off so this has been in the water for about two minutes it's about as long as i've been doing it and we've been catching them so we'll see if uh, it holds up we're almost out of chicken i've even showed y'all guys the chicken so we're gonna have to do a lot of this again so take two so here's our chicken you can see it is getting getting thin they've they've ate it pretty well we had a real rusty one that I was trying to show you. And something that's tore that all to pieces. But. See y'all again in a few minutes. All right guys, we got the boat anchored up. Hopefully it'll catch here in a minute. Let the boat get centered to where the wind's gonna blow us and keep us there and we're gonna try fishing a little bit throw a crab line back out and hopefully have a good time oh yeah we're catching all right let's go ahead and get all these lines out again oh, we got one on there and that Looks to be a non-keeper. But he is super rusty. Let's measure him real quick before we spend 30 minutes getting him out. Recreational. Not sure we got a male or a female here. Got us a nice male. Super, super rusty crab. Guys, look how rusty he is. He is Whoa, whoa, feller. Don't be like that. Throw that back in. Yeah, he's a super rusty one. But uh, we're going to throw him in there. If we catch a couple more, we'll keep him. If not, we'll just throw him back. All right, 
right guys we're gonna go load up and go try somewhere else finally at high tide it's really surprised because we had some redfish in there but well, none of them hit I'm sure they hit something but i don't know what they're hitting all right guys well you can see we're back at the boat ramp the boat is on the trailer and we're at high tide now which means slack tide is coming up and we're actually going to try a different spot that some guys told me about so i'll show y'all guys when we get there <laughs> Thank you. 